Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update, and currently we have U.S. equity futures. Uh, well, the hounds have been released. You've got Dow equity futures up 310 points, NASDAQ up 127. Both those are over 1%. The same is true for the S&P, which is 40 points to the upside, and the Russell is up 23. Gold is back 8 bucks right now, trading out at 1668, while silver's down 13 pennies at 1878. Platinum is up 14 bucks. Natural gas is uh, up. Up, um, no natural gases off nine pennies and lights recruiters back a buck at 8803 US dollar index trading up five, uh, 53 pennies at 112.77 so what does all this mean out here well first things first let's take a look at these uh, daily equity future contracts what we've got out here so you got a nice bottom that was in yesterday the difference between today and what we've seen in the past is uh, we've seen some of those large rallies get sold off instead what we're seeing is follow through now the key question is, is can price overcome sellers? And those sellers for the ES Mini reside at 36.93. Price is above that right now. The question is, can the NQ join in? The NQ would need a close above 11.231.75 to say yes. Not only have we joined the uh, uh, ES Mini, but likely we've got a rally that's going to last for more than two days out there. In the case of the Russell 2000, that level to be watching is going to be 17.57. We're trained at 17.52 basically right now now we still need the dow to participate but the dow itself is trading into a bearish structure set of profile so it's trading into where the sellers are at and that is between 30 545 and 31 256 now a close above 31 256 would be very impressive today and would also tell you that they have been able to take out the resistance of those sellers i'd watch the es and i would watch the nq and i would watch the russell 2000 so uh, those are the numbers to be watching today. If there's anything else to look at, let's see here. Take a look at my market update charts. Um, anything else of significance? Really nothing else that I see out here, folks. So I'll tell you the most significant thing that you can do today. And then stay tuned here to TFNN. You get all the great programming lined up. If you're listening to, well, actually, you won't get this uh, replay here at 11 o'clock. So up next, Tommy O'Brien with the morning market kickoff. Folks, have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you on Monday, 11 o'clock sharp. Take care and be safe out there.